Hi, I'm Jessica Citizen from Player Attack. We are at E3 2012 in the Konami booth. We are checking out Zone of the Enders HD collection and I'm here with Pearl who is going to tell us a little bit about what's in store. What is Zone of the Enders? Why is it getting an HD collection? What's up with all that? So, Zone of the Enders, if you remember, some of our fans might remember, um, it originally came out for the PS2 back in 2001. It was one of those games that was, you know, it's about flying robots. It's high flying. It's really wonderful, exhilarating, exhilarating action. Um, has kind of a little bit of an anime kind of focus to it. Um, but it was one of those games that I think people discovered because they were really interested in this little extra that came with the game called the demo for Metal Gear. Me, sorry, the demo for Metal Gear Solid 2, which I think um, maybe got a couple people interested in like purchasing the game, which is great because then it got a whole new, er, um, whole new group of people who never, maybe never would have played the game into the game. Um, the game was really well received, so we put out a sequel in 2003 called Zone of the Enders 8, um, Zone of the Enders The Second Runner. And that game was, people loved that game even more, because I think it was it just improved on the action, it was an expanded story, and yeah, they just they just did a lot more with it. I think people like really, really liked. So, um, fast forward to now, you know. So it's been almost 10 years, well over, over almost, 10 years. Almost, over 10 years for the first game, almost 10 years for the second game. We went back, we were going through our portfolio, we were looking at doing HD collections. I mean, it's kind of, I mean, it's a little bit of a trend, but also because, let's be honest, like, there's some really great games that were made while we were growing up. And a good gameplay, I mean, good gameplay stands the test of time. You know, it's really, if it's if it's a solid core mechanic, then then you're good, you know? So, with Zone the Enders, originally, those games were already so wonderful gameplay-wise and so much fun to play because you're basically getting into a giant robot in a mech and you're flying through the air, you're shooting lasers at these other giant robots, you're doing like, you're, you're slashing them up, you're like punching their faces, like it's so much fun. Um, they were fun back then and like for us, when we went back and decided to do the HD collection for this game, it was really about preserving that gameplay but bringing the visuals and the sound into the current generation of, you know, to meet the current generation's expectations. So. The focus on HD collection has really been just let's make the gra the graphics like kind of like what you remember them to be because if you if you really think about it yeah, you know yeah. you know do, yeah, like yeah, yeah. when you look back at the games that you played like oh man I'm playing this eight bit game and it's so much fun and like when you grow up it was like oh my god this is so good and then you go back and look at it now like you know they don't like you but, had a great imagination back then. they looked so realistic back they then so realistic back then and then they're like eight they're like little little pixels and you're like oh my god it was like the graphics you know and it's you remember it to be like more awesome because your imaginations were nice. But like, so for us, like this is about bringing it back to make this what you remember, you know, and making it making it palatable for like you know now. So the original games for PS2 were four by three aspect ratio. So you know, so a little kind of like little, little screen. We brought it to widescreen sixteen by nine. So there's much more much more content in the frame. So it just gives you a wider field of view. So when you're in those like huge environments flying through the air and blasting other robots out of the sky, like you can see so much more in your field of view, which is wonderful. We've up it, so originally it was 480, you know, 480i, you know, for the via the PS2. It's now gonna be 720p. So it'll be gorgeous high ref, high definition. And we're also adding um, upping the frame rate. So it'll be running at 60 frames per second. So you can just imagine like just flying through the air and just you can see every everything crystal clear. It's, it's really exciting. We did um, keep the original music, kept the original voice acting, so that that whole like, experience is still the same. We just remixed it so it'll sound good on your on your fancy new sound system nowadays. So if you don't like some of us. And we also added uh, tr trophy and achievement support. So so everyone who was like, you know, you may have played it back then, but now you can show people, oh yeah, I have played this and check it out. Like I've got it. so just a little something extra for like the fans. The other really cool thing is that um, the original opening animations for the games, um, there was one for Zone of the Enders and one for Zone of the Second Runner. And both of them were like done, both of them were beautiful animation pieces done by uh, Studio Sunrise. Sunrise, which is known in Japan as, I mean, if you if you got a giant robot anime that you want to do, you call Sunrise. They are they are the top house to do it. They do Gundam, they are like, they are, they are the best. So we're I, I love leave. I love that there is a specialty studio for <laughs> giant robots. Incidentally, yes. If you want to see giant robots, call them. <laughs> it's like the Ghostbusters. <laughs> but um, so these they worked with these guys originally for the first games. What they've done is they, when doing the HD collection, they revisited. They worked with them again, and they created an all new opening animation for the HD collection just for it. And it's absolutely gorgeous. You should definitely check it out. You can view it online right now if you want to. 
just see like just the animation and the quality. Oh my god, the visual, it's, it's wonderful. The other really awesome thing about this game is that um, similar to how we released um, you know, a little demo from Metal Gear Solid 2 for Zone the Enders 1, um, we're also including a demo for another little game called Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Um, which will be available in box when you purchase HD Collection. So you will be one of the, if you purchase HD Collection, you'll be one of the first people in the world to play the demo for Melia Rising Revenge. So we're really excited about that. And that demo, if you have a chance to check it, oh my word. It is so good. So, 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 so good. So good. I mean, the this game is also like super fun and super good. You gotta see Revenge. It's also see it. It's all new, new Kojima, new Kojima Productions products. It's good stuff. <laughs> See, history just repeats, repeats, repeats. Maybe, maybe in ten years' time, it will all come round again. If it's, you know, there's a there's a time and a place for everything, and if the time is right, then you know, if it's if it's if it's what if it's what's necessary, then we will we will try to make our best to we'll try to do our best to make our fans happy. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.